Erwin Rommel, known as the Desert Fox, is one of the most renowned military figures of the 20th century. Born on November 15, 1891, in Heidenheim, Germany, Rommel grew up in a middle-class family with no military background. Despite this, he was drawn to a military career, joining the German army in 1910 as a cadet and later attending the War Academy in Danzig. His military career spanned two world wars, during which he earned a reputation as an innovative and daring leader. Rommel's military prowess became evident during World War I. He served with distinction on the Western Front and later in the Romanian and Italian campaigns. His ability to read the battlefield and make quick, decisive actions was remarkable. During the Battle of Caporetto, his leadership of a mountain battalion led to the capture of over 9,000 enemy soldiers. His bravery and skill earned him the Pour le Merite, Germany's highest military honour at the time. Between the wars, Rommel held various positions, including instructor roles at the Dresden Infantry School and the Potsdam War Academy. He also wrote Infantry Attacks, a book that outlined his military strategies and experiences. This book would later be studied worldwide, including adversaries. Rommel's legacy was largely shaped by his role in World War II, particularly during the North African Campaign. In 1940, he was appointed to command the Africa Corps, a newly formed German unit sent to aid the Italian forces in Libya. His leadership during this campaign was characterized by rapid, aggressive maneuvers that often caught his enemies off guard, earning him the nickname Desert Fox. Under Rommel's command, the Africa Corps pushed the British forces across Libya and into Egypt. However, the tides of war turned at the Second Battle of El Alamein where British forces under General Bernard Montgomery dealt a significant defeat to Rommel's troops. Despite this setback, Rommel's reputation as a brilliant tactician remained intact. In 1944, Rommel was placed in charge of the Atlantic Wall, a series of coastal defences along the western coast of Europe intended to repel an anticipated Allied invasion. When the Allies landed in Normandy on D-Day, Rommel's defences were overcome after fierce fighting. Following the invasion, Rommel grew increasingly disillusioned with the direction of the war and Hitler's leadership. Rommel's disillusionment led to his supposed involvement in the July 20th plot to assassinate Hitler. While there is no definitive evidence of his active participation, he was certainly in favour of peace and may have been sympathetic to the plotters. When the plot failed, Rommel was linked to the conspirators. He was given a choice by Hitler, face a public trial and endanger his family or commit suicide to assure his family's safety. Rommel chose the latter, taking cyanide on October 14, 1944. Rommel's military career is marked by his reputation as a chivalrous and humane officer, attributes often highlighted by his adversaries. He was known for his strict policies against the mistreatment of prisoners and civilians, which was notable during a time when such policies were not always followed by others in the German military. Despite his loyalty to Germany, Rommel is often viewed with respect by both former enemies and compatriots due to his tactical genius, personal bravery and integrity. His legacy is complex, intertwined with both his military brilliance and the controversial regime he served. Erwin Rommel remains a figure of study and fascination due to his dynamic approach to warfare, his leadership style, and his moral conduct during a tumultuous period in history. His career offers valuable lessons on the importance of flexibility, rapid decision-making, and moral integrity in leadership. As such, Rommel is not just remembered as a skilled general of World War II, but also as a military tactician whose principles transcended the conflicts in which he fought.